What was I doing? I just killed this dude, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I've got no shotgun shells. It's been a couple of days since I've played, so I'm just finding my bearings here. I think I put these in. Did some Can I take that? No, these are got to be on. Okay, so that's what? That's a decoy. Okay, got it. So what have I got? Two shotgun shells. Seven ammo. 61 on that. 337 on the Q-beam. A null wave on the lure. I do remember there being a lot more enemies now. Pretty overwhelmed by them. Oh no! Come on! Now can I get outside from there or what? Do I have to get through this thing first? Okay. This guy's nearly gone though. Nice! Right, sorted. And my aim on this stun gun is pretty, pretty crappy, I've got to say. Right, let's follow these. They're everywhere. This stuff's everywhere. Right, let's keep going. I'm just going to make a run for it. I haven't got time to hang around, I'm afraid. Right, out we go. This is Cargo Bay A. So I'll just remember that mark, because I was getting lost outside here. Airlock power plant, that's the one I need to go back to, okay. Right, let's go. Now, what have I got to do with this tech officer again? Show me. Come on. Tech officer. Hiding, oh, I've got to take him out, have I? Okay. Commander Dahl, this is Casper. Morgan. You sighted. I repeat, Morgan, you sighted. Commander Dahl, do you copy? Commander, go. Oh. Done. Doors are working again, Morgan. Nice work. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere controls in life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in a machine. I should love his messy Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operator. We have important work to do. Okay, keys to the kingdom. I was hoping that triggered that one for me. That's nice. Okay. Now, can I get to it from space or not? Do I have to go back inside somewhere and go in the lift? and run around for fucking 10 minutes to get there. Hopefully I can just get to it from here, maybe. Right, can I get in there? I think I can, nice. Right then, this is pretty much the only weapon I have that's gonna do any damage. I think it was over here, wasn't it? I can't really afford to fight anyone at the minute. Where's the path? There we go. No, wrong one. I'm always getting lost here. There's a grav lift. It's around here somewhere. It's up here. Okay, here we go. Where's a grav lift? There should be one over here. I'm pretty sure I activated one. Where is it? There it is. Nice. Right then, let's get this panel open. Nice. Sweet. Hello, you. I've been looking for you. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible. Even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not mom and dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. 
Concarol is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the null wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, like I pro. What? Morgan! Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Oh. Is he okay? I just took Are you dead? You're dead, aren't you? You got no. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I really liked you. Well, here we are. Hopefully, you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. I suspect you've seen enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the. Morgan, we're in life support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't realize what was happening. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I, I don't know what's going on. Um, I just know I got attacked and Alex is dead. And I picked up some stuff from him. Where can I find a fabricator? How do I get there? Crew quarters, GUTS. I don't even know which way I'm going. I think it's this way, isn't it? I can't remember. Uh, I think I go to the top, do I? And is it this way, my office? There it is. Right, let me close the door. Close the door. Right, you. Who's that? We don't have much time, Morgan. Didn't know you were here, Morgan. but okay. Hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. It's fine. Nice setup. Move. Would have loved to have one of these in engineering. I took the liberty of restocking your supplies. Oh, Found thank some you. food on the way up. Left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien proof. I checked them, no twitching. I haven't been in here since you were lecturing me on my paraplexus. Thought for sure you were going to fire me. Can we get on with it, Too please? Too bad you were sweet on me. I could tell. What? That's what you want to talk about right now? That's what you want to talk about right now, is it? Jesus Christ. Right, I've got to fabricate arming key and prototype null wave device. Well, I can do that from here, can I? Arming key? Nice. Great. Nice. That's that one done. No wave. Red like noise trying to do. It's gotta be that one, hasn't it? It's got to be. Righty ho. Why didn't that go? I, I fabricated one. Why hasn't that done anything? Right, lady, where have you gone? Talk to me. Talk to me. No, okay. I'll go and do this then, shall I? Oh, they're tough now. There's another one somewhere. Right, let's get in here. So what's in here for me. Do 
don't know what's going on. I'm panicking because I don't know what I'm doing or where I need to go. You see them? Kill them. Nice. Right then, quick save. Right, I'm going in. Oh, I gotta get over to that. Right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's nuke this place once and for all and get out of here. One was the way through, it was to the right, I remember now, yeah. This one. Okay, thanks, dude. Thanks for your assistance and all your help. I'm sorry I can't take you with me, but thank you. Alright, let's go. Let's put you there. Okay. Right, let's do it. Let's do a quick save. I've got three of those. Alright then, let's go. Please reconsider. Trust your former self. The one that isn't morally bankrupt. Yeah, be quiet. Your assessment, Morgan. Not mine. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. No, we we want to, we want the same thing. We want the same thing. I want to destroy the place. A question: Is Morgan Yu capable of empathy beyond a small circle of interest? I'm only an operator facsimile. I cannot do it for you. I, I let me in, lady. Please, I don't want to kill you.
is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. And more importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be in the middle range. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It killed me. Why? Would be difficult to say. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. It let him go. Was that mercy? Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37, but it left him alive. It could mean a low drive for retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. Okay, choices. Kill them all. Yeah, I'm going to take his hand. Alex is being cool, man. I thought he was dead, but I don't know. Okay, I thought I destroyed them all. I'll take the hand. We're going to shake things up. Like old times. Okay, that's my time with Prey complete. Um, total of 19 hours and 31 minutes it took me to finish this. I really like the story. The story is really fascinating to me. Uh, I was really intrigued by it. I really wanted to know what was going on from the beginning, right from the outset, when I realised I was in the simulator um, straight through. I was a little bit confused to begin with, but um, I picked things up as I went along. Really loved it. It did appear that there were more than one ending, so I thought I destroyed them all and that I saved the planet Earth. Um, obviously not. I don't know if there was another ending where I could have saved Earth. I don't know. The controls and the gameplay were, were okay. I mean, um, once I got used to the controls, I found myself able to get around quite quickly. But it wasn't that much of a problem. Once I got used to how it worked, it was fine. 
And the fact that you had to craft your own bullets and stuff was a little bit awkward, but at the same time, it kind of kept you on your toes a bit. I mean, this game isn't super old. The graphics could have been a little bit better, I imagine. I do have on the highest settings, um, but it was passable, right? And even if it had been a brand new game, and I do regard this game as being relatively new, um, I do feel the graphics could have been slightly better, but it wasn't a problem. I was inside most of the time, and the graphics inside the station were just, they were fine for me. And it was well thought out, so I really liked it. And the sound design was amazing. The sound of that giant nightmare creature, oh, that was just... When, when I first heard it, oh, it scared the life out of me and I just ran. Could I play this again? Probably could. Now that I know there's more than one ending, I could probably go through it again. And now that I know the systems, it would probably be a little bit easier for me. But there is a, there's a new game plus, so maybe... What does that mean? I can start off with what I have now going into a fresh game. I'm not too sure how that works because I've never done it. Overall, I'd give this game a solid, I'd say 7.5 out of 10. Maybe 8. 8's kind of pushing it for me, but you know, I had fun with it. 7.5 out of 10 for me for Prey. Anyway, I did like it. I don't know if they're going to do another one. It'd be nice if they did one set on Earth. That'd be interesting. But I don't know. I'll have to go online and look to see what the studio is going to do or what they've said. But anyway, I enjoyed that. I thought it was really good. And would I play it again? Yeah, I'll play it again. Am I going to play it again? No, I've got other games to play. So there it is. That's my time in Prey. And um, on to the next.